Another day and another chart. Thus, astrology work will be using our favorite meter, the anecdotal evidence style. In the stage one, we will see many accidents related to profession. It's a sportsman, the baseball player. And then we will go to stage two. The person retired in 1975 and uh, opened a restaurant with younger sibling and also was employed as TV anchor. I usually skip the biographies of sportsmen and actors because the type of biographies are not very useful for astrological analysis. This is a nice exception because here we have this nice change of career life to something else and also relation to the health things. Analyzing the accidents, we cannot omit the Varesha and uh, the person was born on Sunday, the Lord is the Sun, is with the Mercury and Mercury is here afflicted. And the Mercury is showing the structure of the body, so this will also be very important. And additionally, this is all happening in the sign of Sagittarius, which is also related to accidents. So we will try to unravel all these three points. So we are not only taking the Sunday and try to get the meaning of that or lunar day like a full moon or new moon, we are ascribing the specific planets to these days and then we are opening the chart and we see those planets in the signs, in the houses and forming various yogas. And based on that we can see that Vedic astrology is much more complex but also therefore giving more information so much more useful than for example the numerology and similar systems. If Mercury is hit this can be dangerous for the structure, for the body. We have seen that on the wife of John Jr. Kennedy, the plane crash and uh, Mercury and Sun in that chart were in 12th house. Mercury was snatched between the Pisacha Yoga, Mars and Ketu, and 8th Lord and 12, the loss of longevity, 9th Lord and 12, the loss of fortune, especially when afflicted. So this Pisacha Yoga was really turning the tables here. And this was giving here this fatal accident. And in this case, we also have similar situation. The Mercury is in the Sagittarius and afflicted by the fiery planets Mars and Ketu. So this is very important because the Mars and Ketu, they can heavily afflict the Mercury because the fire of Mars and Ketu and the Earth element, the primary element of Earth is ruled by Mercury. They don't like each other. So they are going into that enmity and the Mercury is very afflicted and this can uh, translate or reflect in uh, for our life as uh, accidents. So the piece such a this, piece such a that, can you explain to us in an approachable way? So if we would give the Basya or the commentary to these complicated sutras, it is all inclusive space. Astrology is hermetic, but not so much hermetic if you are interested into it. So Mars and Ketu or Mars and Rahu, they are provoking very extreme and sudden events when related to the health points. And in this case, the Mercury is related to the body. Someone could ask why. Now Mercury and Jupiter, they have this directional strength in the first house. So they are showing us. This is the blessing of Mother Earth and uh, Father, we could say, Jupiter and Mercury in this uh, theory. And uh, we could say that Mercury is showing the Stula Sarira, which is the physical body. And uh, Jupiter is related more to Linga Sarira, which is our subtle body. Uh, in the Gita, we get to know that this is Manas, the mind, Ahamkara, the false ego, and the, the intelligence. So Jupiter specifically here is the Karaka or significator of intelligence. And why Varesha is the body? Now, Varesha is the lord of the Vara. Vara is day of birth when you were born. Now, in Vedic astrology, we are not only using the chart, we are also using something which is called Panchanga. These are five qualifiers of time and they are very important and also they are analyzed before really approaching the chart and uh, these pancha whenever we have something five then there is a big temptation to correlate them to the five primary elements right so they are always present in very much uh, Vedic and Western astrology so this uh, symbolism is uh, still uh, there very much living eternally present and uh, if we divide it, then Varesha is always related to the fire. And therefore, 
the fire and air, these two, are very much related to health. The air is related to the prana, our vital breath, and this is uh, rolling the nakshatra. So the nakshatra controls longevity very much, and the vara is our body and also the uh, jatagni, which is the fire in the stomach, and also our health. So this is very much related to the fire, and this is in that Panchanga scheme related to our day of birth. So this is the mystery how this day of birth has something to do or anything to do with uh, our health. Of course, Sagittarius is related to accidents. It is natural ninth house and this is the sign where Ketu exalts and among the planets, the southern node of the moon, which is called Ketu, he is related to accidents. Also very important thing that Mercury is in the 12th Indina Vamsha. So therefore, from this we can get information that this sportsman career was not very health bringing element in his life. So. If you have jobs related to this Dushtana in Dinavamsha, we were taught that this can uh, show career life, which can give wealth, depending on the placement from another uh, important point. But definitely Dushtana is showing there could be some uh, health problems. Uh, so if you are doing anything, for example, to teaching, you have Jupiter in Dushtana, this could bring, for example, stress. If it's moon, you are doing something with food or medicine or social causes, if it's sun, and the spiritual or government or resources administration work, then all this can uh, bring problems to your health or otherwise fortune maybe, if this is related to Dushtana in the Navamsha. Hey guys, if you like this video so far, please don't forget to click the like button. You are really making a difference here and helping me with this algorithm. And if you'd like to be notified about similar videos in the future, then uh, please subscribe with the bell notification on. And now let's go back to the video. Okay, so this is our first mystery solved. Let's go to the stage two. Uh, we are doing that in the same episode. And this is about changing the life, career life, to the opening now, the business with the younger sibling and also the being employed also the same year in the Sun Venus Dasha. We will talk about the Dasha soon. Uh, as a TV anchor. So now the media possibility is opening up. So he retired in Saturn Saturn. But wait, is it really that Dasha we should be using with the moon in the third? The person is not really following the tracks of society, is has individual way. So if the FBI want to trace you, it must be using a special variation of Vimshotri in this case. For Moon in 3rd or 11, we are using the special Dasha Utpana Vimshotri. Now, Dasha is the timing system, is the crux of predictions. We are just seeing which plant is active in specific time in your life, and then we are seeing what this planet is uh, doing in your chart. For example, if you are in the Jupiter Mahadasha, then just see what Jupiter is doing. It is especially working very nice for sub periods, Antar Dasha, and sub sub periods. Pratyantar Dasha. And not only in the main chart, you can see what that planet is doing in the Navamsha for relationships, in the Trimshamsa for health, Vimshamsa for spirituality, Chatur Vimshamsa for education. You can see also in the uh, what's happening to your family, in the seven children, the 12 for your parents and uh, uh, in-laws in the Navamsha. This is going planet after planet or season after season. This is a big oversimplification, but this is the theory behind it. So we could say that the time is circular. Some are saying it's linear, but we can connect this as like a spiral connecting these two theories. And the both dashas are showing this event or change of work. From normal, the general moon beam shot, we have Saturn, Saturn, and from Utpana beam shot, we have Sun and Venus. I remember one comment I get from an angry man. How you can using the two dashas? You should only choose one, otherwise you can justify all the events. But in fact, this is how it works. The various dashas, they are showing the various perspectives. It's like putting the camera A front, camera B from the side, and then you are combining these two perspectives. So you are getting the different uh, things on the camera, but uh, the object of the shooting is the same. Similarly, the dashas are showing should confirm the same event, but in different language. And also Pandit Sanjay Rath, he explained that the main beam shot is showing the event and the variation is showing our response. So now you have much more information to build the whole picture of what's going on in your life. Now for this timing, we will be touching the uh, tent from moon, of course. 
we are already much more advanced on this channel. We know that it's not 10 from Lagna, which only shows how we work. All these dynamics, timings and what you are really doing, it's much better reflected by 10 from the moon. And in this case, 10 from the moon is moon itself in the Libra, in the third house. So I've also read somewhere that the moon shows, can show sports. And especially this is a Navamsha of Capricorn and Saturn is showing the use of body, huge physical strength. Especially here in the Rashi we have Saturn and Rahu in the 11th house showing this uh, Vayu Rudra. So the person is like Rudra. And this is also in Trikona to that moon, right? Venus and Saturn Rahu, they are forming this Trikona. Moon showing games and Saturn Rahu showing use of physical strength. So in baseball, it's really like wrestling, we could say, right? So also for wrestlers, we have the Saturn Venus and also here we have this moon Saturn. So this is definitely there. But if you would see that chart for the first time, then you could be saying that this is a chart of someone who is working like uh, in the agency because Moon Venus shows CAO, someone who is giving other the jobs uh, or someone who is working with the food, right? Because Moon Venus is like direct feeding others, right? And uh, this is very much reflected because exactly in the Sun Venus, so Sun Venus Dasha, Venus is third Lord and seventh, business with the younger brother dispositor of that moon, which is also the tenth lord from moon. So activation of the work in Venus Dasha. Exactly. In the third house by younger sibling, third lord and seven. So bringing that business. And we have this Venus Saturn Yoga, which is showing this enterprise, this entrepreneurship, this business. So this is exactly showing that situation. So this is so big wow effect that even the Carl Sagan would go crazy with this example. Now, of course, the humanistic astrologer would say, no, you cannot say anything about the external world, about the external circumstances. From the chart, we can only read the psychological traits, strengths, weaknesses, potentials for something. You cannot say anything about the karma, about the determinism. Of course, you will be talking like this if you will be using the wrong zodiac. So if you are using the tropical, then it's all restricted to that subjective and psychological things. But from the sidereal, according to text, we can read the karma. So now we can not only see the subject, but we have the map of the subject, the one, but also what's going around. So the Varga will be also there. So isn't that incredible that the same moon in the third house is showing the games, the sports, it is showing the restaurant with the brother and also is showing that media work as a TV anchor because the Venus is also related there. Venus in seven shows also dealing with the public. Now for this, we need to really examine the Navamsha, the chart of fortune, additional charts. So in the Vedic astrology, we have not only one chart, we have additional charts to confirm and make our prediction more stable and clear, more detailed. So we will open the Navamsha and the Shamsa and we will see how this Sun Venus Dasha is working there. So in the Navamsha, we have Mercury aspecting 10, which is giving the sports, but Saturn is in 10th house bringing also uh, this in the Venus Dasha, because Saturn in own sign is bringing the Venus. It's Uchanata is Venus. Venus is an eight. So in the Sun Venus, there was the change of career. And because this was the Venus activating also the Saturn, because Saturn is Nuchanat, Saturn being the 10th Lord, this also shows this is the time of uh, new career life, of new ventures. So this is very nicely shown in the Navamsha. Now for the Dashamsa, we need to use a bit different system. We have to use third and eight, but specifically also the Maraka to the sixth, which is seven and 12, they also are ending the job. And here, this is Sun in the 12th with the Ketu 7th Lord. And it happened in the Sun Mahadasha. The end was happening in the Sun Mahadasha, but we need to wait for Venus because Venus is in Kendra. So Venus to the Sun. So Venus will support that, what Mahadasha is doing. And how it will support that? Ninth house. So through some kind of business with the brother in the Taurus, which shows food, and of course, Venus is showing the media. So this is end of his career as a sportsman. We have Mars in six, this uh, surely giving this baseball career. Now, Sun is ending that through Venus Antardasha, and how? See the Venus. So exactly showing the picture in the Dashamsa. So the Rashi may show 
what is really going on in the symbolic way. And this is very important because the big value of astrology is not only confirming or predicting what's going on around you, but also giving a meaning, right? It is also giving meaning to all these elements around you. And then you can understand why you are going through some points. What was the meaning? If you have any hardships, then it's much easier to go through it if you understand what is the meaning behind it. What is the value, right? What is the sacrifice, for example? And uh, like Camille said, that uh, there is no, or it was a start, that there is uh, no meaning in the life. We have to create it on our own. But here with astrology, this can be revealed. This is already there. So the Vedic astrology philosophy is not really agreeing to that. It's more about trying to understand what is the meaning, what is the karma of our life uh, through seeing the chart. So that is incredible and miracle of Vedic astrology. If you would like to have your chart analyzed, the Rashi Navam Shadashamsa, everything about health, relationship, career life, with the timing, finding the main dosha, main challenge in your chart, and also providing the main remedy, then hit me up in the email below and we could schedule a consultation for you. Also, thanks a lot for being here with me on this channel. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you like the video, please don't forget to click the like button. You are really helping me with this algorithm. Also subscribe if you like to get notification about similar videos in the future. And see you in the next one. Thank you.